Hey there, everybody. Dylan Gallagher here, founder of EmilyNow.ca, with another little video and podcast and some thoughts and opinions on the Snapchat IPO. And you may be saying, Dylan, what does the Snapchat IPO have to do with my business and its ability to make money or borrow money or use money because isn't that what you're always talking about? But just follow me for a minute on this line of thinking. I saw an interview yesterday with uh, Jason Calacanis, who is a well-known venture capitalist, uh, sort of an all-things tech guy, uh, early investor in lots of different technologies and and ideas including Uber and uh, he was on this panel uh, talking about the snapchat business and had this uh, phrase that he used uh, called artists and thieves uh, this is a, a tremendous company and I think this is really the story of the artist and the thief and so uh, the idea was really simply that uh, your business uh, or snapchat's business rather is the uh, artistic business, whereas Facebook would be the business that is the thief. It steals all the other ideas or its business ideas from the artists. And so that concept in and of itself I think is interesting because as a business it's important to know are you the artistic business or are you the thief? And that doesn't necessarily have a negative connotation with it even though the word thief does. It's meant to simply illustrate what business are you in? Are you the uh, in the innovation business or are you in the you know we can make um, we can make things better but we did that we did we don't necessarily innovate there's a there was a bit uh, a book that went around a few years ago uh, I believe it was put out by Harvard called Blue Ocean Strategy and if you haven't read that book it's an interesting read with the same general concept uh, it talks about blue oceans and red oceans and um, I won't I won't bore you with it you can you can take a look at it yourself but this idea of being an artist and a thief what does it have to do with finances and money well it seems to me as I was driving in to the office this morning and just thinking about it you know artists are able to command a price for their work that usually is irrespective of anything anything that can be mathematically figured out so when when um, an artist paints a picture, a picture can be sold for a price, uh, depending on what the purchaser wants to pay and the artist wants to sell it for. When a musician creates a piece of music and goes on tour and sells their t-shirts and their CDs and, and all of their, their swag, you know, that tends to have uh, you know, a bit of an arbitrary price to it. Certainly if you've ever bought a t-shirt at a concert, you know what I'm talking about. Whereas you know, a business that's more in, the, you know, more in the on the thievery side, where they're, you know, taking ideas from other businesses. That those, their prices tend to be set, and so that means in both cases, if you had the opportunity, you'd probably want to be the artistic business, I think, because that means your margins can be whatever they need to be until such time as people start replicating and copying what you're doing. Whereas if you're a thief, you really can only sell what it is you have for the price that's already been determined in the marketplace. So that means that your margins are are set and now you have to figure out a way to make a profit within those constraints and so again I don't think there's a right or a wrong but I do think it's an interesting thing to think about because let's say that you're a business that is trying to figure out how to grow and maybe you're trying to grow because you've got a good customer base your products or services have done well historically but now you'd like to get to the next level well you're either going to steal an idea from somebody else to do that or you're going to create something that nobody else is doing and I know that nothing is truly new under the sun there's just different ways of doing old things but I think the concept still holds I think that if you're trying to grow or work yourself out of a problem or you've got challenges in your business or you're looking for new opportunities it's gonna come by uh, through one of two things it's gonna be because you did something that everyone else was doing and you could just do it better and your margins uh, will be thinner compared to doing something nobody else is doing and being able to get a greater margin for that effort and that creativity and that work and uh, ultimately that both either one of those decisions affects your bottom line and so as you're out and about today uh, thinking about your business and considering some of the things that um, 
your business could be doing better or could be doing different. Uh, this idea of the artist and the thief, I just thought was an interesting concept to you know think about uh, our businesses in maybe a different way that you know we wouldn't normally think about. So anyway, that's food for thought, and uh, see you next time. <laughs>